Welcome to a special international edition of The Late Late Show. Right, boy? Do we have guests from all over the world? <laughs> Where do you think that dude's from? <laughs> you think everyone's from Mexico. <laughs> all right, go over there, have a look. I'll be right there. I'm telling you he's not. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, then. It'll be fine. Don't worry, man. It's, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Alok. And I'm from India. Alok? Yeah. From India? Yeah. Which part of India? New Delhi. New Delhi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I freaking you out, man? Because no. you're kind of like going like this. I'm good. I'm just looking at you. What are you, what are you doing in LA? Are you on vacation? No, I'm actually studying here. Oh, what are you studying? Oh, uh, business management. Business management? Yeah. I see. <laughs> Where are you studying? Uh, Loyola Marymount University. <laughs> you, you a little nervous, man? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to be nervous. It's cool, man. It's not even like a proper TV show or anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me feel like I'm creeping you out a little yeah, bit. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, all right, then. All right. So, uh, so you're from New Delhi. You're studying business management. Yeah. And? <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here for about six to eight months since August last year. Yeah? Got yourself yeah. an American girlfriend yet? Not yet. <laughs> Looking for it. Looking for one? Yeah. Yeah, what you looking for? I don't know, let's see. Well, here's a good idea. We'll send you and a girl that you want to take, or dude, like a no judgment. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, somebody you want to take on a date. Okay. Uh, to where? What restaurant? La Candavetta. La, La, what's that? La La Canda Veneta, it's a great Italian restaurant. Uh, that's, that's not far from India. <laughs> <laughs> to most Americans, that's actually true. Yeah. They're like, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Um, right, you have to answer a question, though. Uh, business management, I don't know anything about business management. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm learning, right? You learn? What have yeah. you learned, then? I'm actually just finished my freshman year, so... That's correct. <laughs> so, you won the dinner. So, good, now... <laughs> so, uh, who are you going to take? Do you have uh, somebody in mind you want to take on a date? Maybe no, you should no. ask them now, man. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I, ask I them on TV, I, I, ask them on TV. I don't have an idea right now. Well, is there a girl that you think no. might like you or a dude? I'm like, no. no judgment, man. No, I, I actually don't know yet, now. You don't know? I'm going to look. Oh, man, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I'm still looking. You know, the thing about American girls is they're, they're just like, you know, just like, you know, Girls the world over, it's just, you know, yeah. approach them with respect, you know, you'll be cool. Yeah. You know, just direct, you know, try and be a little funny, don't be too weird or nervous. Yeah. <laughs> be fine, a little bit of confidence, it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> I just worry about you, you know, you spend a lot of, <laughs> spend a lot of time on your own. No. Do you play the video games? No. No, no, no I see, okay. No. What do you do for your hobby? Like, I like playing outside. I go walk out or I like playing tennis sometimes. Tennis? Yeah, I like you, watching. You can't do that on your own? No. So I just like play with whoever's free, like friends. That's all right. Yeah, and yeah. I, I like watching TV. Yeah, I like, I like all those things except tennis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not originally from here either. I know what it's like to come here and feel like a little out of sorts and stuff. But then, you know, Americans are very friendly, man. They're, you'll be cool. Yeah. yeah. It takes time to get used to it. Yeah, a little bit. It'll be all right, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Just don't be too rough on yourself, you know? It's just like, it takes time. Transition, you know? Yeah. Family still back in India? Yeah, I have an older brother here. Oh, your older brother's here? Yeah. Oh, that's good. See a jerk? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, maybe you could take him at the restaurant. No. Then you guys can go out <laughs> and party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get on with the show, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, we'll be right there.
Good to enjoy the rest. With Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Macy's. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. That's enough ever. Wow, it just dropped off Whoa. like that. Yeah. Like they were going crazy and then stoof, nothing. You know, it makes me feel like it perhaps that it's not genuine at all, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps this huge ovation was just some part of some plot put together by a desperate and sweaty warm up comedian. Well, we call him a comedian. We call him a comedian. He's, He's not really, not really a comedian, comedian That's obviously. Right. Right. <laughs> Of a kind of cheerleader type He's a cheerleader, of cheerleader, right, right, yeah, right. but not an attractive cheerleader, no, creepy, more, like a more a sort of oh, <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, sort of a oh, that's what you've done with your life, kind of a thing, yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> this is a very attractive one, so I, I hope they come back at some point in the yeah, future. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, a, a date yet to be specified, <laughs> yeah, well. Sometime in June? Yeah, I hope, they come, yeah. I hope you guys can come back sometime in June. <laughs> yeah. Yes! All right. It is, of course, a great day for America, everybody. It's a great day. A great day here in Los Angeles, the city of angels, the giant urban crap heap. Uh, <laughs> The well, Clippers fans are celebrating their new owner, the billionaire Steve Ballmer. Even though Ballmer is from Seattle, he promises to keep the Clippers in L.A., which is a relief. Otherwise, L.A. wouldn't have a professional basketball team. <laughs> Did you hear that? What the hell, man? Yeah. I mean, do... Oh, well, I suppose... Yeah, there's the Lakers. <laughs> It makes sense that Ballmer would own a basketball team. He's got ball in his name. It'd be like Tom Cruise buying a cruise ship or uh, Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods buying a, a, a what would he? A, a zoo. A zoo, yeah, yeah, all right. Or uh, uh, Andy Dick paying, well, never mind. Uh, look, uh, the, the key. <laughs> One of the keys for the sale was having Donald Serling declared mentally unfit. <laughs> That must have been a tough one to pull off. <laughs> anyway, unfit or not, Sterling is now $2 billion richer. Sources say he's going to use his windfall to purchase the whitest thing money can buy. <laughs> what would that be, Jeff? The whitest thing that money could yeah, buy? Yeah. A barbershop quartet. Pretty white. Uh, <laughs> what about uh, the whitest thing money can buy? A Prius that runs on kale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that... Oh, uh, uh, Coldplay. Coldplay, yeah, actually. Um... Santa's pubes. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Santa doesn't have pubes with it? Okay, of course he does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. And He's a magic. man. Santa's a man. He's got needs. And they're, and they're magical pubes. Are they? Sure, yeah. They know when you've been naughty. Yes, they, they know do. when you... <laughs> yes, they do. Yes. All right. All right. The whitest things money can oh, buy. Have uh, we done? Uh, Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Yeah. Sure. And else? Utah. 
The very big movie's coming out today. A Maleficent about an evil queen who destroys young people's dreams. Do we have a picture? Yeah, that's right. Nah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, the real poster. Look. Wow, look at that. See? That even even the Pope would be like, damn girl, that's a crazy hat. Damn, that's a crazy hat, girl. That that's how the Pope that's talks the Pope. Now. That's the new Pope, yeah. Uh, another movie open today is A Million Days to Die in the West. It's a comedy by Seth MacFarlane. We love Seth, don't we? He's great. Very funny. And Liam Neeson is in it. That sounds good, doesn't it, Jeff? Oh, quickly, there's no time. Do a fart joke. Yeah. <laughs> quickly. There's no time. Santa's pubes. There's no time. Santa's pubes. Are you going to go see it? I'm going to go see it. Santa's pubes or the... Or the... No. No, you can't, you can't see Santa's pubes. They're magical. You, you can only see them if you believe in them. <laughs> No, man, you can see him for the right amount of money. <laughs> did you just call Santa a whore? Yeah. That's right. Yes, I did. <laughs> man, what, what is wrong with you, man? Hey, man, you I know that. people. I've seen some things in this business, man. <laughs> well, uh, I hope everyone's enjoying the Christmas special. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to go see that movie. It looks great. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. Yeah, it's got all my favorites in it. Uh, you know. Yeah, the one guy's in there. <laughs> He's great. I love yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, no, Seth MacFarlane's very funny. Yeah, and very uh, Liam Neeson, I like Liam Neeson. He's tall. Like, there's Hello. no time. Quick, get out quickly, of there. Uh, drive, yeah. drive quickly. There's no time. Yeah. <laughs> there is no time. We're out of time now. Oh, that's it. We're done. Yeah, I don't want to do any more. I understand. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, we've got until December, man. You know? No, no, I, this is it. No, we're doing This is it. Now. That's now it. That's now. It. Yeah, I mean, we're getting out of here. All right, let's go, man. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Uh, Barbados, you and me. Get crazy? <laughs> Let's just have a commercial break and then come back. All right. We'll be right back, everyone. show we'll do in May. Yeah, this is it. This the 30th. Is it. This May is the 30th it. already? Yeah, this is it, man. Wow. This is the big show. This is the one we wait for every year. <laughs> Why? What happens? Yeah, you always tell me, May the 30th, man. This is it. This is, we're going out in a blaze, man. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> we're going out in a blaze? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> we're going to smoke, you know, weed or something like that. I think that's what you meant. That sure. We are not going to smoke weed unless it is, is legal in the states where this is being broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> It's not legal anyway, weed. It's just like you, you have to, like, you know, pretend to be sick. Yeah, you've got to have, like, a, like a license for that or something. <laughs> Some sort of a pass. No, there's a law of uh, legitimate medical use. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, sure. Sure, you can make shirts out of it, whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I never did any of those things. No, I understand. I haven't smoked weed for a long time. Is that right? Yeah, like, hours. <laughs> I don't smoke weed. Are you kidding me? I got kids. Nah, oh, man. Yeah, I don't have, I'm sleepy all the time anyway. Nah. <laughs> time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who can tell when you've been naughty or nice by checking his trousers. <laughs> well, isn't that true of a lot of men, though? Yeah, sure, sure. A lot of men can tell sure. if you've been naughty or nice by checking their trousers. Well, In fact, most men, like, if you're naughty to me, I check my trousers and go, thanks. <laughs> You would, and if you're you would, nice to me, I'd take my trousers and i go, thanks. You would, you would thank me for that. That's nice. Well, we don't thank you necessarily. Well, let's be honest. Come on. <laughs> Hello? It's Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you talking about me. <laughs> Santa, what are you doing? It's May the 30th, Santa. It's way out of your time period. Well, Santa was... Checking his pubes. <laughs> Checking your pubes? Sure, they're magic, you know. Magical pubes? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, what, what did you tell from checking the, the magical pubes? You've been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Santa. I have to say, sometimes it's very satisfying when, like, Santa sounds like the way you think he would sound. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. 
you know, sometimes people call and they, you think they're going to sound one way, but they sound a different way. And they don't sound like how you would expect them to exactly. sound. Exactly. Like who, for example? <laughs> I don't know. You, you pick. Hello? It's Don Rickles. How are you? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's no, not no, Don it's, Rickles. It's, it's Don you Rickles. sound a bit like Don Rickles, but I think you're somebody else. <laughs> it's me, Don Rickles. <laughs> you so, hockey puck? <laughs> you sound like Santa. No, that's. I said hockey puck. That means I'm Don Rickles. <laughs> oh, God, hang up. <laughs> All right, uh, tweets and emails, so we'll do the jingle. You yeah, ready? this is it, yeah. Tweets and emails. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Alex in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You ever been there? Alex, yep. <laughs> says, Craig, my dog wakes up and wanders around in circles every time you blow that whistle, so please stop. <laughs> this is from Roger in Orlando, Florida. It says, Craig, when your show's over, please don't blow up Jeff the Robot. Well, I wasn't going to, but now that you mention it. What the hell, man? I don't know what's going blow. I won't blow you up. It's my friend. You don't blow... <clears throat> this is from David in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Yeah, Remember? Cherry... Cherry what? Where? Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill. Oh, Cherry yeah, what Hill. What did you think I said? I, cherry... Cherry, what, cherry oh, penis? Said, what, what, yeah, what? Cherry... Cherry... I thought said Cherry Elk. No, Cherry Hill. Why would I say Cherry Elk? I couldn't hear you over the, the gales of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I forgot to read it. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> this is from Dennis in San Diego, California. You ever been there? Uh, Dennis, you don't know it. <laughs> he says, Craig, in all honesty, don't you... Oh, I'm not even reading that. No, 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 no. You crazy? You can't read that. Oh, no, no. And finally, this is from Yuki in Nagoya in Japan. Oh, Yuki. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to Japan in a couple of weeks. Oh, that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going on vacation. Go to Japan. Never been before. Tokyo I'm going to. Oh, good for you. Thanks, yeah. for, uh, thanks for inviting me, man. It's great. <laughs> well, I could take you, but they got a different, uh, you know, electrical system there, so you wouldn't work. Hey, man. I'm ACDC. I go both ways. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Come on. Um, she says, uh, she, uh, Yuki, I think, is a lady's name in Japan. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, Yuki says, Craig, uh, did you know that your show is on TV here in Japan? I did. Do we have the thing? The, la, yeah, play the thing. Or... Super happy fun time. <laughs> she says, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is true, though. This show is actually, we are actually on the air and in that Japan. That is a fact. We, yeah, we're on Japanese TV right now. <laughs> I might have insulted someone there by doing that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Yuki says, you know you're on TV in Japan. Can you please explain Secretariat? <laughs> oh, um... <clears throat> you, you do it, Jeff. Well, uh, Secretariat is a uh, horse with a uh, cocaine problem. <laughs> and, uh, yes. And uh, that's really it. That's, yeah, that's pretty that's much it. Uh, yeah. a horse with a... Well, and now, you should know that not, not a real horse. <laughs> <laughs> We've just blown your mind. You've just been Ferganized. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jeff. Uh, commercial break, you think? Sure, yeah, yeah. Commercial A terrific human being, his live show, Shatner's World, we just live in it, is June the 19th, 20th and 21st at the MGM, uh, MGM Grand. MGM Grand. And uh, not the, just the regular MGM, the MGM Grand. The big one, the big one. Yeah, the, 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 the good one. The good one, the better one, sure. <laughs> it's in Las Vegas, That's not, where the, it's... not the bad Las Vegas, the good Las Vegas. The good Vegas. Las Vegas, the better Las Vegas. Yeah. Please welcome the legend that is William Shatner, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much. Ah, uh, Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, lovely to see you. Well, I, 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 I appreciate that uh, Las Vegas plug. It was so unexpected. Well, you always make me plug whatever you're doing before you come on the show. You're a very oh, pluggy man. That's where I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. You look great. I thought you were just, they told me you were just coming from a horsing event. I thought you were going to be all, like, I did. Dusty. I just stepped off a horse. You own a suit like that? Well, no, because usually you send a limousine, but, um, to take me to the studio, but, you know. And I was riding in a horse show just an hour ago. Really? Did you, yeah. did you, was it a parade or was it a competition? No, 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 I compete as a rainer. And we have reining horses, and I'm... What's a, really, what's a, what's a rainer? What is a rainer? Well, do? you know, the cowboy moves where they might chase a cow to, they're going to doctor the cow, and the cow suddenly stops and the horse doctor flies. Doctor the cow? What do you mean you're going to doctor the cow? <laughs> You have to give cows shots, and you have to feed them, examine them, or a calf is growing. You right. get all kinds of doctoring. Well, don't, they, don't the cows just wander in and just deal with them? Why do you have to chase them? Because they run horse? away. They say, oh, look at there. There goes, uh, there goes a, a needle. i got to get out of here. Listen, you better be nice about cows, because we got a dude in from India, you know, so, you know. Are you aware... Are you aware of who that gentleman is? No, 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 no. I'm... He's a rock and roll star from Mumbai. <laughs> I feel such a fool. I didn't know you'd been to Mumbai. Oh, I, I follow him around. I'm a groupie. <laughs> so you've just been to a horse event. Did you win then? I'm in the process of winning. What do you mean you're in the process well, of winning? Well, it's cumulative. Oh, so you have to go cumulative. back and, and... I'm going on Sunday to... Chase another cow? Another poor, defenseless cow well, that just... Well, these are rainers, and this is a, this is a, 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 a highly uh, disciplined uh, equine event, and I've gotten quite good at it over the years. I've heard you're very good with the horses, actually. There's, there's a scuttlebutt on the street. The kids are saying yeah. you're good with... He's the... good on a horse. Hey, look out for He's Shannon. been reared He's by good a good horse. On the <laughs> How did that happen? Were you raised by, in a horse farm in French Canada by... Horses? Uh, little French habitat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, so like, ah, come on, William, go over there, ride the horse. <laughs> ride up and down. That, that sounds familiar. Yes, <laughs> I am your father. No, no, no. Go on, come on. I tell you what, what that reminds Let's me of. Let's do hypnotherapy. No. I'll take you back. I'll take you back to your childhood getting raised on the French Canadian okay, horse. Okay, are you ready? Park. All right, then. Okay. All right. <laughs> William, I want you. Yeah. I want you. Yeah. I want you to yeah. go and uh, chase after that cow and pretend you're a doctor. Here I go. Here I go. Doctor. doctor. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. You're, you're, you're out of it. You're out of it. You lost. I, I don't understand this. What? What? Well, I, I, I'm playing the fool. I'm playing, you're, you're, we're in the midst of foolhardiness. No, it's not, it's not necessarily foolhardiness. I was just asking you to go back to your childhood and describe how you got into horses. I understand horses. that, but, but, you know, I came in here to have a serious discussion. I know. I, uh, on the Mumbai uh, uh, rock and roll artist I that's in your I, audience. I think you're mistaking that guy for someone else. No, this, I'm not. No, this is a kid But I tell you what freaked me out. What? What freaked me out. Oh, sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. Raise a foot. This is what freaked me out. This. I don't know how you come by this. Come, well. by, come by. Sounds, sounds African, doesn't it? No, no. Come I, by I, this. I, I, these are tights. Well, loosen them up. Well, uh, I what have to go in. What do you mean they tights? They stretch all the way up? Yeah, it's a kind of a onesie. Is your pee, -pee held in, in constriction? Yes. Uh, it's, it's, actually, it's actually being held uh, without... Uh, the possibility of parole for a while. I, I, hope, I hope the length of the sentence is equal to the length of the peepee. -pee. Yeah. yeah. So here we are discussing the length of your peepee. -pee. No, we're not. You are. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about your uh, shows in Las Vegas. Now you go, you come out, you wrestle a cow to the ground. Yes. Right, and then and everyone then I, is amazed. And right? I ride off into the sunset. That's Very a, that's, short that's, show. That's but the stupendous. show. Stupendous. That's that's. No, I do a one-man show for a couple of hours. Uh, much more, I, I, let me say it's classier than what I'm doing right now. Right, right, I get that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I will amuse, amaze, and, and touch a large audience. And do you, do, you, do you doctor a cow while you're there? 
Is there a cow in the show? There are no cows. You have horses all over the place. No, I, just, uh... I don't have cows. I rely, I rely on on wit, and and construction and music and and effects. Oh, oh, that'll never work in Vegas. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I thought I'd give it a try for three nights on all right. 19th, 20th, and, and the 20th. MGM Grand. And the MGM Grand. The good one. Uh, the, yes, the, and the big one. The big one, yeah. Because we like big ones. We'll be right back with William Shatner, everybody. We'll be right back. Now, li listen, I, I, I really am. I am very apprehensive about the, the Las Vegas gig. Why? Well, you're dealing with Las Vegas and drunks and people who are not in, you know, uh, they haven't come to the theater. I opened the show on Broadway and, and played Broadway and people have and come to see you. People yeah. come. So here we are dealing with a lot of people who are there for nefarious reasons. Right, and they, they're just going because, oh, so we now, might as well go to that. So have you got, like, lines planned when you go play Vegas? Do you have heckler lines planned? No. No. You so just, what, what are you... Just keep you, talking. Just keep talking. Over, like, I'll be me. I'm talking. You're yeah. the heckler, right? You mean like you do on the show? Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Right. So I'm, I, I, I'm talking. I'm saying, yeah, hello, yeah, ladies so and gentlemen. These so things happen. I'll tell you another thing. Like, yellow, 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 yellow. And then security takes you out. No, but that doesn't work because they, they laugh because they love you. But uh, They don't love me. <laughs> That's why they're here. Oh, no, no. This... You're, you're, you're searching for love in such a vain way. They love you. You don't. No, they love. You. They love. You. They, they love you, Bill. No, yes. no. Yes. They love you. So the thing is, the thing that has struck fear into my heart is yeah. somewhere I was touring it in uh, the show in. Uh, in uh, Australia. Oh, okay. And a guy, a drunk guy, started coming up the... Well, it's Australian. You're going to get drunk, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I said, you know, go back, because you're making me nervous. The guy continued up. Uh-oh. And finally, he climbed up on the stage. He was six foot six. Was it Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> well, it was a crocodile somebody. I mean, okay, yeah. Maybe a crocodile. Stuff. But he was tall and big, and I, and, and, and I was trying to do a command presence, like, stop. Right. You know, and he didn't stop. What happened? Well, I, and I got up, and I, and I said, sit down. And he sat down. Oh. Then I knew I had him. Yeah. You know, well, well, he tried to get up, and I, you know the Spock pinch? Yeah, but I didn't think you were allowed to use it for legal reasons. It doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had, I had my thumb in his neck yeah. to keep him down there. We kept looking for security, but I think security was kind of insecure. Yeah, well, you know, big guy like that. No, so, no, do you so still keep in touch with that fella? <laughs> He's got my thumbprint. Uh, well, you can't do that. You can't do that. No, thing. so what do you do? Eh, just, you know, something will turn up. Yeah, but you, you, you're faced with people saying, hey, Shatner, and all you can come up with is, yeah, your father's mustache or something. I mean, you can't. That's not good. <laughs> Wasn't that smart? No, I never thought. It's a really good one. Your father's mustache. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or your mother's beard, something, anything like clever like that. Don't go overboard. Now listen, yeah. I really do mean it. Do you have a, a one-liner? Yeah. Give me a one-line. Crikey dingo! Every time. They love you. Okay. Crikey. It's a, Crikey. It's a real laugh. But, but I'm Canadian. Ah, I see. Well, just apologize then. Oh, I'm sorry I, I, I aroused your ire. Yeah. Uh, if they're from Ireland, especially. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Uh, Bill, we've been out of time for about five minutes. You have know that, really right? Go. Yeah, yeah. We have to go. Where are you going? I've got uh, this horse show I'm going to. Oh. Can I come? Yeah. <laughs> Only if you don't to the car. <laughs> William Shatner, everybody. Talented actress, she stars on the sitcom Playing House, which is Tuesdays on the USA Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jessica St. Clair, everybody. Jessica St. Clair. Hello, 
Jessica. Hello. May I say, you look absolutely stunning. Well, I'm double spanked. Oh, wow. <laughs> double spanks? What Now, what is the difference between single spanks and double spanks? Well, I may pass out during this interview. Really? Um, my, my best friend Lennon and I, who we star on this yes, show together. Yes, yes, she's a lovely girl. Yes. She's been here. We, um, we both just had babies, and we read in an Us magazine that Beyonce double spanks herself. <laughs> but she cuts the butt out. <laughs> I didn't do that. You don't want to... Uh, well, because then the, the rest of the body looks for a place to escape. Exactly. Exactly. It, it'd be like... Exactly. Well, you mustn't do that. I'm not sure Listen, you should be double spanking anyway. It might be like a, a Downton Abbey moment. If I pass out, fetch a smelling salt, and maybe I'll come to. Or maybe not. But that's the only way I could get into the stress. I did this for you, Chris. Wait, no, 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 no. This is all true. Oh, fault. my Lord. <laughs> Look, the I, I, you know, you, you're perfectly uh, welcome to wear sweatpants and a top. It, Thanks. It's not. I was wearing earlier. I, you, I mean, yes. I can't believe you had a baby eight months ago. Yes. But then again, I don't know how powerful spanks yeah, are. You know, very so. powerful. Well, my baby was ten pounds. Wow. Wow. And she looks yeah. like a little beautiful Don Rickles. Yeah. She has my size mouth on a baby, if you could imagine. So she's just, uh, but yeah, and she came out just like, what's up, you know, and so it was a real situation. Ten pounds, a big giant mouth, and what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an animated feature. <laughs> So, uh, uh, t that's quite a, that's a large, yeah. did you do the, uh, the, the, like, full, you know, chemical well, get out of it birth, or did you have it in a bucket of mud like an actress? Listen, um, I, I didn't really have much of a plan. I didn't read any books, per se, about childbirth. What do you mean, per se? I mean, I might not know how to read. I don't know. Okay. I just didn't have time. And I, and Lennon, Lennon stud is like, she's like a part, she wants to be like a part-time midwife, like do it out of her garage. So she's like, she's read everything. You can't be a midwife out of your garage. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, you're going to have the baby come on in. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, Get up on now. the bench. I'll just get down and grab it. Um, no, but anyway, she had read all the books. So a couple days before I gave birth, I said, do you have one of those birth plans that I've been hearing so much about? And that's where you tell them what you want, you know, in the delivery room. And she goes, yes, I do, but please do not cut and paste. This is not a situation where you should do that. I said, I'm not going to, that would be crazy. So of course I did that. Right, yeah, yeah. And when it came down to, I needed an epidural, I mean, I was like having a terms of endearment moment. I oh. said, I need this thing. It's a 10 pound baby. Yeah. They said, oh, well, the doctor's not here. And I said, what? And well, it's said, a garage. There's no doctor in the garage. <laughs> so the, the epidural, the anesthesiologist, I guess, wasn't there. And so you had to it just was like... It busy because apparently on Lennon's birth plan, it says, don't ask me about the epidural. So they didn't tell me. And I'm like, Dad... You know, are, you, are we talking... <laughs> both of you are having your first babies here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See all that talk about don't talk to me about the epidural? No, no. Save that to after you've had a baby. <laughs> Just in, case, just in case. Just in just case. Just in case you change your mind a moment where... Yes. You need it. Yeah. So like, if, if I was to ever have a baby, which is unlikely, but if yeah. ever I was... Hey, don't say that. I'd, I'd uh... Well, <laughs> no, I just... Never know. I've seen what I was... I've been there when both my kids it's were terrible. born. It's terrible. It's... Uh, it's a sight to see. I... <laughs> That's for sure. I tell you, when I looked at it, I was like, well, somewhere in there, with all this going on, a baby is coming out, but... But there's a whole lot of... Stuff. I'm like, <gasps> what is that? And then there's other everything. All the bells and whistles are going, and everything's oh, right. like. Wow. I thought it was just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, but no, no. And if your baby has the head of Don Rickles, yes. I mean, it, it gets stuck. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, you better get it out. I'm like, modern medicine needs to get this out of me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're like, you have to push it. I'm like, no thanks. I'm not interested in any of this. You should have worn your double spike I then in this. <laughs> And squeezed it. Yeah, squeeze it. More spanked. Yeah. Well, never mind. But anyway, anyway you're, you're past you know, the hump now. Yeah. It's fine. What age is she? Eight months? She's eight months. Ah, you're fine. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Oh, they should yeah. be sleeping through the night. Everything's great. Your yeah. life is perfect now. Yeah, it's perfect. It really is. No, mm. she just slept through her first night at like, like last night. Yeah, that doesn't mean that she's going to do it again. No, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that, and I I feel like now I could like go, you know, run a marathon, right? And I got one night of sleep. You know what I mean? And yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah. I'm no, almost I, on drugs. If yeah, no, like I, I totally get it. I I've got, you know, my youngest boy is three, and. Oh. Mm.
doesn't get better. It doesn't. No, it, no, my oldest boy's 13. It, it yeah. doesn't get better. Yeah, that's. You know, uh, <laughs> it, it just, you just kind of like, oh, man, now what am I worried about? You know? <laughs> That's great. It's, uh, you so, should write a parenting book. That should be your next act. You know? Well, uh, write a parenting book? Hey, you know, your life is now over. You, you, now, you now no longer matter, really. <laughs> Welcome to servitude. Yes. For the rest of your life, you will be yep. a servant to yes. this. Yeah. To this person. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's makes me want to apologize to my own parents. But. Yes, I think about it. I don't do it, but no, no, yeah, I, but I, I think about it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, I can't. Yeah, um, but we, you know, we write our in our show. My best friend and I are raising a baby together, so it's kind of like is that what that show is? Yeah, playing house. It's that Lennon's character. Uh, so she dresses up as a dude, and no, you. That's who. That's crazy. First of all, that's her dream. She's been trying to be able to dress up like a dude. This particular. Yeah, it's character. California. We dress up like a dude if you want. I know. It's cool. But this is the first network that it's allowed us to do it, and um, she was real rude to me as that Bosifa's character. Real Bo rude. And Hansy. Han Hansy. Hansy. You know, I, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing that. No, you. It wasn't hot. It was rude. Now let me decide if it's. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You might know what you might think is hot, and what I think. Yeah, but, but, you know, I think Leonard Parnham dressed up as a dude, getting handy with you, might actually be hot. Okay, she's also eight and a half months pregnant. Okay, okay? that might change my mind a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we're yes. out of time. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, it was so abrupt. I'm gonna. Say All right, then let me let me. Let, oh no 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 no. Let's let's do it a different way. So okay. I've got some news. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's not... No! <laughs> Why? What did I do? I'll be less crazy. What? It's just... Is it the space? It's not you. It's not, it's not about... No, it's me. It's me. I need some commercial break time. I... In this book, Fifty Shades of Kale, <laughs> and I thought it would be about you know sexy people tying each other up and hitting themselves with vegetables, but it's not. No, it's about putting kale in uh, and uh, recipes and stuff. <laughs> Ugh. 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 <laughs> no, kale's the big thing here now. Everybody That's wants. The thing. I'm like, wait, is this? Isn't this cabbage? It tastes horrible, man. I can't stand that. Well, you know, it, I'm sure it's very good for you, but it's just cabbage with a publicist. I think what happened is, I think what happened is that Kale got to California and it was called cabbage, and its agent said, cabbage is never going to work. You need something with a bit more zap. Yeah. What about kale? I like Cabbage it. sounds too Scottish. Yeah, now I'm kale. I'm kale. Kale. That's what it talks like. Hi, I'm kale. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm kale. Do you like to s slap me? <laughs> oh, your father's mustache. <laughs> your mother's beard. <laughs> Santa's pew. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.